we know that uh, electricity makes our lives easier uh, to keep warm to connect you, you can name the list however we tend to forget that it is very dangerous okay. when it is not handled properly okay. and a year-to-year -year basis we experience a number of incidents right. and unfortunately uh, in those incidents mostly uh, it's the children that are affected oh okay yeah it, in winter time we get a lot of electricity fires and okay. they are caused by different things that are least today to just uh, at least enlighten people to say which things that you need to take precautions on okay. and which things that you mustn't do at all we have load shedding and people leave things unattended. Yeah. First, I'll start in the kitchen. Uh, whenever you were busy, let's say you were cooking, trying to uh, catch up with the load shedding schedule, mm. make it a point immediately. If the supply can just go off while you are busy, yeah. make it a point that you switch off everything. Okay. Be it the stove, yeah. be it... Uh, anything the kettle yeah anything that you you were using in the kitchen mm. if maybe you were sitting in a dining room and uh, using a heater and and now the electricity is off switch that heater off and also go to the plug yeah switch completely from the plug okay. because you you wouldn't know what might happen when the supply is restored wow. and also even if now there's no supply interruption. You are leaving the house. Make it a point that everything you switch it off. Okay. In the past, I did mention that at least you can leave your fridge on. Yeah. It won't affect you. Because um, a, a, a lot of electricity uh, fires are caused by the things that are left unattended. Mm. 